<laughs> and with the infinite window of space. I have decided that Shaleth is the one I want. Now, here's my F. Here is my Shale. Now, eventually, we could find another rune word for the shield that's Ethlum, which would give plus one to skills. And that is fine, but I have Shale Eth right now. And that's also going to be really good, although not directly uh, skills. So, Shale Eth, that's Rhyme. So, regenerate mana 15%, don't care. All resist plus 25 is cool. Cannot be frozen is great. And 50% extra gold for monsters. I mean, how can I say no? That's for these almonds. Delicious almonds. But I have five of them now? Jeez. That's quite a bit. That's quite a bit more than I will ever need, in fact. Do I really need Tal runes either? Hmm. Or Thulls. I don't need Thull. Probably ever. Get rid of that one. Or Tal. Yeah, I mean, I would be t keeping Tal around just for stealth. Taleth. But that's, that's probably replaceable. Let's turn this into a Rowl. We haven't demonstrated enough cubing yet. Zoop. So three runes of the same kind, up to Thull, will make the next uh, next rune up. Beyond Thull, you have to augment this formula with gems. I think it's time to go. Time to go with my million gold. My resists now in the black. Very good. Of course, I will be also interested to learn if we are still streaming. I should say again, rather than still. Oop, nothing in that skeleton. Poor blue man. Bunch of blue man group rejects with pole arms. Ah, a refilling shrine. Well, that is not so important. Carefully. You guys can swarm ahead of me if you like. That would be just fine. I wouldn't mind that in the least. Oh. Did I miss the exit? I must have... I can be in one of two places, so let's check the other place. That's quite silly of me. I guess I'm bad at the map tonight. Oh, and the birds have gone back to flying. That's that's comforting. Into the bazaar. Now, before we enter the bazaar, I want to show off for the first time something that I've been neglecting up to this point. If you open up the chat by hitting enter and type slash players and then space and then a number from one to eight, it will tell you players set to and whatever that number is. This works in single player. This effectively makes it so that there are five players in the game for the purposes of calculating monsters. Having additional players means that all the monsters health gets multiplied by the number of players and their drop rate increases by something like an extra 10% for each player? What was it? No, it's like... I forget the formula exactly. It's something like the standard drop rate is 1 in 5. And then that increases to 2 in 5 if you have 3 players. 3 in 5 with 5 players. 4 in 5 with 7 players. And then something like 4.5 out of five with all eight players. And that's the the base item drop. It doesn't give them any levels. It doesn't make them all that much harder, frankly. They just have lots more health. Does not raise your chance for getting magic items. 
just increases their base drop rate. Oh, and experience. So, we wanted that. Of course, letting the monsters live longer lets them get more hits in. So that's like getting giving them more damage. Yeah, you can already see that it's starting to take longer. Some of these monsters are left over from when I had players one. Ooh boy. World's my oyster. I keep saying that, but I mean it. Monsters! Yeah. Lots and lots tougher. Ideally, you would run players 8 or so from the very beginning when monsters are very easy to beat and you're dealing way more damage than they have health. Then, you know, you get to front load a lot of levels. The experience actually tapers off because the further away you are in level difference from a monster, the less experience you get, either positive or negative. So for max experience, you always want to fight monsters of your same level and beat them instantaneously. Dire Wound. Again! We've met you before. These guys have a lot of health now. Fortunately, we have a lot of bodies. Hmm. Ceremonial Javelin is an Amazon-only item. All of them have plus one to Javelin and Spear skills. That, unfortunately, does not make them worth any more. That's actually very unusual to crank the monsters up. Like players 5 or 8 or whatever. I find 5 to be a pretty good balance. I rarely go into players 8. Yeah! Piles of gold. I love it. Oop. And every now and again, we have to bring Dave and Zohar back. That's okay. Well, I think that's enough of an exploration for now, so let's bring up the chat. Players, space one. And now, any monsters generated after this time will be back to the regular players one. It does not immediately make the monsters any worse. The only thing that matters is when those monsters get created, what the player number is. Now, there are some other commands we can do. For instance, typing slash F not FOS, slash FPS will show you my facts. <laughs> yeah, ping should stay on zero. This can be useful if you're online. You can see whether you're getting a good, uh, good ping rate or whatever. Really, that should be fixed on zero. I don't understand why it's changing at all. Ah, uh, the Schweander. If I had three hands, I could wield the Dryander. Yeah, I think we still have some very tall monsters to chew through, but that'll taper off. Of course, we do want to make our way to the sewers, and we do also want to find Lamazon's tome. 
That's not a required quest, but it is a darn useful one. Well, it would be more useful if I actually spent stat points, but you know, it, it, it's a, effectively I do, eventually. It's better than not having them. I'm just gonna observe them. Yeah, the Ruined Temple. This is where we want to be. There we go. Just had to nudge the tether a little bit. Careful about these guys. Yeah, this should be Battle Maid Serena right here. Ooh. Carefully. Carefully, okay. Ooh, that's that looks like a tiny little place to go through. I don't want to put Dave through that. Or perhaps not. Maybe I was lying. Nope. There we are. Ooh. She has an aura. Yeah. She's always extra fast. It would be a refilling shrine, wouldn't it? This time she was aura enchanted with the Blessed Aim aura. That boosts attack rating by quite a lot. Baskets. Let's have a look at this Yu Wand. Mm hmm. Nope. That is junk. That is so much junk that I'm going to throw it on the ground where it belongs. Well, that was easy. Now we don't have to go into any more of those temples. Let's see if we can luck out with the sewers, too. Whereas we did the Lamb Essence Tomb quest for a minor reward. We're doing the sewers because it is mandatory. Yeah, the little bone nova that those guys explode into is very powerful. It's one of the more da dangerous things in the game, in the abstract. Frankly, I don't know why it gets to be quite so powerful, but... Yeah, there you have it. I did not hear that trap. I detest your baskets. Ew, dead body. Oh, a rat's nest, gross. Pulled back at the last second from that. All right, well, you guys no need to, no longer need to accuse me of being a complete luck sack when it comes to the, the sewers. If I were extremely lucky, we would already be on the second level. Still, the sewers can get rather big. So there's still plenty of room for luck. This is back up. So how about if we went here? Come on. Everybody this way. Ooh. What's that? That looks like something. No, Bosh. Loot out of it. Looch out of it, bo Bosh. You'll make it, buddy. Okay, good.
This isn't so bad on the whole. That's bad. I hope you guys saw what hit me because I didn't. It's probably one of those bo bone novas. Ah, I know the problem here. Yep. The champions get to resurrect the undead soul flares. Meaning you get the Bone Nova again and again. Aren't they fun? Aren't they charming? What fun and charming guys. I don't want greater healing, come on. Guess I'll have to grump it. Oh, okay, this little pedestal is nothing. It's a distraction. Ugh, I'm in the fart gas. Well, serpent skin armor is exceptional anyway. Yep. Oh, I'm still carrying Lamb Addison's tome around. I guess I haven't turned that in yet. Well, that's fine too. What we would really like to see is Icehawk, Icehawk Riftwing. Don't think he's gonna be around. I mean, eventually he'll be around, but. By this point, we are well into the sewers. See, what what got me there? Who knows? And you guys can go back and watch the replay and see when it happened. And do a frame-by-frame frame or something. But I do not have the luxury of caring. I am stuck in the Forsaken Sewer. I'm going to start summoning Daves. Just to tamp down on that nonsense. That is well more than enough out of you. Carefully. Okay. You know, if a health shrine is just a pool of blood, what the hell is a mana shrine? Pool of paint? Juice? Ether? Blue? I rather don't know. Oh, that's gonna be bad. Uh, let's give him a hand. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, don't mind that at all. Yeah. Let's get our stat points. I might break 500 hit points at last. Good evening. Oh. Yes, I Once have. Once the book has served its purpose, I shall delve into its secrets. Yay, 507. Neat. Hmm. That means yet another amulet, possibly. Although at this point, these are not going to be very good. I'll just save those for later, probably. Much smoother.
More sapphires. Hmm. Junk. I'll keep it for now. It's probably just gonna go away and not even get sold. Oh man, if it was right next to where I had entered to begin with, I'm gonna feel kind of bad. I just picked the wrong direction. Okay, doesn't look like that's the case. Yeah, I have another one of these like fake spots. Hmm. All right, well, faking me out. That's that's a path to victory. No! Ugh! Look at that! Just... Man. Guys, you're dangerous, I tell ya. Oh, that's a bonus area. Larg. Cannot even find treasure in that way. Well, I mean, we can find treasure, but... Hmm. Yikes! I'm going to die, because I can't move! Whew. That was scary. Tiny little passages where I have to go first. I don't like that a bit. Not one tiny bit. Well, I guess you're getting a full view of the sewer. This is what we missed last time. Aren't you glad we missed this? Boy, I sure am. You know, considering I found my my gambling amulet, I probably don't even need to worry about rubies. Hmm. Kind of want to craft something though, just so you know what all the jewels are for. In my experience, jewels are hard to come by when you're out looking for them, so I I tend to just keep them all in case I ever want to craft anything. Every crafted recipe requires a jewel. I think I stepped on a mouse. Poor innocent creature. Gold drop in stereo.
Act 3, The Complete Sewer. One of the neat parts about the sewer is that it connects to multiple other areas. So it has two entrances in the Kurast Bazaar and two entrances in Upper Kurast as well. Which is neat. Because it is like an actual sewer. Whereas in Loot Galane, the sewers was like, why do you have three levels of meandering cave beneath your town? That doesn't make sense. This comes closer to making sense. That's really endearing about the place. There's nothing endo nothing else at all endearing about the place. I'm trying to give it something. Throw me a bone here, I am literally a sewer. Alright, what do we have up here? Carefully. Carefully, I've almost died twice. We would not want that, that would cost me experience. Oh, did we? Yes! At long last, the sewers are over. Love has won a victory over hate. My golem has died. To Ice Hawk Rift went. Guys, get the dangerous one. My goodness. That did actually hit me, but. Haha. <laughs> I cannot be frozen. Well, uh, yeah, I probably want to make him out of this. Let's uh, bring up Goofy for now, just to have an accompaniment. Probably want another Zohar while I'm at it. Destroy baskets. Oh, a fire. How nice. Would that I could have the gold golem. Hey, once again, mummified, definitely mummified heart. 